congratulations on the Starship rocket last week and the first soft landing in the ocean for the world's most powerful rocket vehicle. It's a remarkable achievement. You are taking the fiction out of science fiction. Can you share with us what your thoughts, what thoughts were running through your head when you saw that happening and what's next? Well, I would say I was incredibly excited that we achieved those milestones. I, I thought perhaps we had maybe a 20 or 25% chance of achieving both milestones where the booster and the ship both did a soft propulsive landing in the ocean. And so it really was, we achieved all the objectives, which I thought was unlikely. And that's thanks to an incredible team at SpaceX. I think we've got the most talented team of rocket engineers that has ever been assembled. And that's how we're able to accomplish these things. So it's always an, an honor to work with the great people to accomplish great things. So what's next in, in the final frontier? What do you see ahead for is to develop the technologies necessary to extend consciousness beyond Earth. So, I mean, this is sort of a little cerebral, but perhaps appropriate for a Cato event. That's particularly quite cerebral. But if you think about the sort of Fermi filters of, you know, Enrico Fermi has always wondered, where are the aliens? Why do we not see signs of them? And I frequently get asked, are there aliens on Earth? And I'm, I haven't seen any signs of aliens, and I... I promise you, the, the minute I see any evidence of aliens, I'll immediately post it on the X platform. Most popular post of all time. So, but th that we haven't actually seen any evidence, or I'm not aware of any, suggests that consciousness is extremely rare. You know, if we believe the archaeological record and the, the standard model of physics, Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Civilization, as measured by the first writing, is only about 5,000 years old. So archaic pre cuneiform in roughly 5,500, roughly 5,500 years ago was the first writing. I think that's a good date for the start of civilization, which, which means that civilization has only been around for one millionth of Earth's existence, almost nothing. I think this potentially argues for civilization being fleeting and fragile. And so the thing that we can do to increase the probable lifespan of civilization is to be a multi-planet species, to extend consciousness to other planets, ultimately to other star systems. And, um, and this would massively improve the probable lifespan of humanity and consciousness as we know it. So that's, it's, it's really trying to get past the single planet Fermi filter that that's the goal of SpaceX. That's why we're building such a big rocket. It's far in excess of anything that's needed to put satellites into Earth orbit. And it, it's really, it's a planet colonizer. It's uh, intended to build as quickly as possible a self-sustaining city on Mars. And I think, you know, there's somewhat of a race between making a self-sustaining city on Mars and global thermonuclear war or some calamity, whichever, if we have some civilization ending, ending calamity before that happens, then, you know, that's all they wrote. You know, that's some, perhaps some future aliens will discover our civilization and say, well, they, they, they almost got there. You know, so, so that, that's the goal. I think that's kind of an important thing to convey to people in the audience to think about the future and, you know, you care about the, you know, not just the preservation, but the extension of civilization, the extent that the growth of the scope and scale of consciousness. So yeah, so that's the, that's the goal. Um, make life multi-planetary is the goal of SpaceX. And, you know, along the way, we'll seek to generate revenue from any space-based uh, activities, such as uh, providing, you know, building an inter internet uh, system in space, anything that's sort of space-related in order to fund the, the extension of consciousness beyond Earth. That makes a lot of sense to me. We shouldn't keep all our eggs in one basket. We should try to diversify risk. So thank you for doing mankind's work. 